Yeah, and and that that project, the Bedouin Elf, is extremely impressive looking uh, projects. Now, how did you come about, how did you come about choosing a project like that? How how do you how do you decide on something like that? And that must be a, a fairly tight knit process between you and your mentor. Yeah, yeah, it was a back and forward process where. The fun thing of that one is that it was the first picture that I saw that I, I loved it when I was like searching before the, men, the advanced term uh, for previous projects, but it was too complex at the beginning to do it in intermediate, for example. And then uh, after searching for other stuff, I wanted to do like a mix between hard surface and organic because I wanted to train both things. But mm -hmm. as Raf is a facial modeler, and, and it was so challenging in the facial and the expression and everything. I decided that that was it would be the best way to like squeeze him and and get as much of his knowledge in that way. And yeah. I wanted something that transmits something, like to do a project that transmit like a like a feeling or something, and not it was just like a character that was not saying anything. Yeah, it's um, you know, you must have come across some real hurdles or some real challenges that kind of stumped you. I'd be interested to hear about some of the some of the difficulties that you faced and how you overcame them. Uh, well, the main one, uh, the main one was the smile. I we we overlook a bit how how complex is the smile. Even like it was a process of like three months, and during one month and a half or even two months, I said why I chose someone with a smile. I would never do it again. <laughs> uh, no, it, it, but it was it was super challenging. And Raf, in that way, he gave me the like most of the help because the, the the most important thing was to understand how the rest of the face, the rest of the face behaves with the smile. Because when when I was doing the smile alone and the rest of the face, for example, the wrinkles on the on the face or the cheeks and everything and all the all the muscles of the face were not moving in the same way as the mouse like the, the smile was looking creepy. So I always say that for two months, uh, the Bedouin elf was looking that he was going to rape someone or something. It was like <laughs> su super creepy. Um, but then in some moment when I understood how the face had should move in general, then started to look a bit better. <laughs> 